Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Supreme Guru and I'm back with the second part of my Nova Launcher tutorial playlist. If you haven't watched that first video, I will leave the link. Is it here or here? I can't remember. Anyway, I will definitely leave that link. So the first part of the video describes how to set up your main screen to the best of your liking. So if you haven't heard of Nova Launcher, it's basically an application that you can download from the Google Play Store and it allows you to customize loads of things on your Android phone. It's one of those applications that I always use on every single Android phone. If you guys are using a different launcher, let me know down in the description. Not in the description. Let me know down in the comment section below. I do read every single comment, even the horrible ones. Nova Launcher, there's a free version and there's a paid version. The paid version is, it allows you to do a lot more with it and it's not that expensive, but it's worth purchasing if you're really into customizing your Android phone. I'm not sponsored by Nova Launcher in any way whatsoever. Second part of this video is going to be talking about your app drawer. So if this is something that you're interested in, then I would recommend you stay tuned to this video. Now it is going to be quite a long video. I'm sorry about that, but it's just because there's so many settings within Nova Launcher. If you're intrigued as to why you're still watching a female talking about tech, then I don't know why you are, but anyway, here we are together. So let's just get straight into the second part of the video. What I'm gonna do is record my screen. So we're gonna go through step by step now on our second part of this video. So to get Nova Launcher up and running and into your settings, let's just hold down on our screen and click into settings. So bear with me on this one because there is a lot that we need to talk about. So let's start first and foremost with your draw, mm, uh, drawer app grid. So I've got it set here for six rows and five columns. You can adjust the size of whatever you want for your apps. You could bring it right down to two if you really wanted to go crazy. Let's just try this out just for uh, fun. Now that is bizarre, isn't it? Okay, let me just go back and change it back. So I had it at six and then five. So basically that makes my app drawer look like this, which I like. So adjust this accordingly to your liking. Let's go into the next setting. Okay, so it's icon layout. Now what you can do here is adjust the size of your app icons. Um, you could bring it right down to really small or you could bring it right up to 150%. Let's see what that looks like. It takes a wee while for it to load there. Um, so you can see that this is gonna be beneficial for anyone that has sight issues. Um, it makes your icons pop off the screen. I'm actually, do you know what? I'm gonna rock that. And if anyone says anything about it, well, that's their issue, not my issue. Kinda like that. Let's go back into settings. Okay, within the icon layout, you can give it a label so you know exactly what app it is that you're looking at or you wanna click on. You can also adjust the size of that writing just by um, swiping your finger along the slider. You can adjust the color of that. Let's give it a green color. You can give it a shadow or you can make it single or double lined. Um, and then again on the left hand side, you can make this a little bold if you want it or make it look condensed. Whatever you want, adjust that accordingly. Now, I don't like having, like, you can see that that looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, um, you know, you can keep your labels on there. I'm not gonna judge you. Um, some people prefer to have labels on their apps. So the next setting here is frequently used applications. And you can see right below it, it says show frequently used apps in the top row. So if I swipe up, these are the main applications that I go on to the most. So I've got my YouTube studio, my Instagram, my WhatsApp, my workplace, and the Google Play Store. Um, you don't have to have that setting on. I just like it because it means it's easier access for me to get to what where I need to get to. 
So let's go back to settings and let's go to the next option, which is your app drawer style. So as you can see, whenever I swipe up into my app drawer, I've got this vertical style to scroll through my applications. Now we can change that if we go back into that setting. Let's just change it to horizontal and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's swipe up again. So for me to go to my next row of applications, I have to swipe. Okay. Now I will talk to you a little bit about that transition effect a little more on this video. Um, but you can see that you do have the horizontal option to swipe through your applications or what you can do is you can tap on list and we can swipe up and there you can see that's a nice laid out list of my applications all in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to change it back to what I like which is vertical. Okay. So now we've got an option for our card background. Now what that is, if you swipe up and you notice the sort of background, you can see that my wallpaper is there, but also um, there's this little sort of rectangular box thing um, and it's got like a darker shade of black. Basically that's your card background. So I like to have that on because it makes my apps stand out a bit better to me but you can turn that off and whenever you turn that off you can see um, it just is your wallpaper so like I said I prefer to have that on because it makes my apps stand out a bit more so let's go into our next setting which we've got is swipe to open so you swipe up from the bottom of your screen and then you can swipe back down again to go back onto your main screen. So I'm going to swipe up, that gets me in, and then swipe back down on my screen. That takes me out of my applications. Swipe indicator. So the swipe indicator that um, I have got on, you can see as I'm swiping down the little arrow that's swiping down also, it's just an indicator to show you what you're doing. So now we are going to go into our background color. So as you can see, I had that sort of black background. Let's change it to pink and swipe up. That is absolutely horrific. And I am sorry that I had to show you that, but you can see that you can adjust this to whatever you want. So say for example, like you had a nice sort of reddish pink background wallpaper going on that could match in quite nicely with it. I'm going to change that back ASAP to the black color. You can also change the transparency of that. So like if I brought it down a bit more, um, you can see that's a bit darker. You can select whatever color you want just by hitting the three dots and you can move this little circle. And along the bottom, you can see what color that's gonna be. You can also move up on this on the right hand side to actually select the color and again adjust accordingly to your liking. Next option that we're going to go into is the fast scroll. So if I go back into my app drawer you can see that red indicator up in the top right hand corner. If I swipe my finger down it means that I can get to my apps very easily and it shows a letter which obviously is linking to my applications that begin with that letter and as you can see as I'm hovering across so there's F you see the way the Facebook sort of pops out it's very handy to have that option on. Um, let's go back into our next setting so you can uh, adjust the color of that scroll and um, let's give it a green color and you can see you can just swipe across so again just customize that to whatever you want your scroll bar to look like I'm gonna put that back to red um, persistent search bar so if we switch this on you can see that whenever I swipe up Along the top of our apps, we can type in Instagram and that gets me easily into my Instagram application. So it's just a quick search for you to use to get to whatever app that you want to get into. And um, let's keep that setting on. I like that. Okay, so the next option that we have is our tab bar. Now you can see that I've got this switched off and that's purely because I just like having um, one tab open for all of my applications. But for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to switch it on. Okay. And if I swipe up, you can see here that 
I've got my little apps tab and then I've got a social tab which I made earlier on um, but I will show you how to do that in a bit. So let's go back into our settings um, you can give your tab style a different look so we can do a little color block which looks quite nice makes it stand out a bit more again I customize this to whatever you prefer and then um, you want to still keep on your search bar you can do so and you've got a menu option okay so if I swipe up again here's my search bar with the little magnifying glass and then I can um, hit the three dots and that can give me a quick shortcut into my play store Let's go back into settings and what we can do is, what we can do now is isolate our tabs. So that prevents changing tabs when swiping between pages. So you can see if I swipe, it's not going to let me swipe. So even if I had that horizontal view on, okay, it's still not going to go into my social tabs. So now let's go on to the next setting which is the horizontal scroll. So if I tap on this you can see that I've got a to flip vertical. Let's tap on an in and out animation. So let's swipe up, in and out, in and out. So you can see it's just a little transition of your applications. Let's go back in here and you can also do the infinite scroll which means that whenever you're scrolling through and through it will just continue scrolling through your applications okay so let's go back in the settings the next option is your drawer groups so in here you can hide apps that you don't use uh, just tap on the app that you want to hide and that will and that will automatically hide that in your app drawer drawer group so this is where I made the little social tab you can create another tab just by hitting the top plus option and I can put on let's see social and um, let's just put on camera so I have a lot of apps to do with my camera so if you want to add applications in there you just hit the little pencil beside it and you can hit select apps in the bottom left hand corner and select whatever apps that you want so now whenever i scroll up you can see i have got three tabs on there also if you're adding any folders into your app drawer and yes you actually can do that within nova launcher you can't do this on a normal um, launcher built into your phone so it's another reason why nova launcher is so good you can get your folders to show first before any other application so that is the second part of our tutorial video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you found it helpful in any way whatsoever, give it a thumbs up. If you use any other different launcher, throw that down in the comment section below. I will be sure to read it and check those out. And also if you do have any questions, then throw them down there. I will try my best to answer any of your questions. Until next time guys, you've been watching and listening to Supreme Guru. Peace.